All right, what's going on, everyone? So welcome to another mini system test video. So um, let's just go ahead and get uh, right into it. So uh, for the panel, um, as of right now, here it is. I actually have a new panel on the way. Well, a couple of them. Um, but you're going to be seeing one panel temporarily take the place of this. Um, I say temporarily because due to the limitations of it, it's a smaller panel than this. Um, you know, it really doesn't do as much as what this panel does. So it'll probably only be up for a little bit. I'll make a couple of videos with it and then I'll put this panel back up. Um, or maybe I'll put a different panel up. Who knows? I've got quite a few of them now. But um, that's just the update on the panels. This will be coming down temporarily. I don't know if it'll be next test or the test after, the test after that. Um, but this panel will be coming down pretty soon. For our pulse station on zone one, we have my ESL 5060S. On zone two, we have my Farlight BG10. And yes, I'll be getting a friggin' smoke detector for this spot, finally. And for the Hornstrow, we have this uh, weird looking setup. So right here, we have, uh, the label's not on there, but this is this is actually a really rare Wheelock Hornstrow. This is a Wheelock ES DL1 WS24. It's not a speaker stroke, not a chime stroke, it's a horn stroke. Um, I was originally under the impression that this was multi-tone, but the fact is um, it's a early generation, so it actually only does the horn tone. Honestly, I'm not too upset about that. The siren and whoop tones suck. It's like the traditional tritone horns, which in my opinion sound atrocious. Um, however, the horn tone in this sounds a bit interesting. Um, not, I'm actually the only collector who has this particular model. I know there are other enthusiasts who have um, different models and the uh, horn tones do sound pretty cool. Reason it's on this back box is because the, the uh, back of it actually sticks out quite a bit and it won't fit on the 4x4s. So I actually have to use the uh, 2975 box, but um. And you kind of have to look at this ugly hole here with the strobe neck going into it. Um, since I put the strobe neck out to go in here and I just didn't drill another hole behind the box to run it through. So it's just in here for now. But it's no big deal. I'm going to end up taking the whole back box and everything down after this test. So it looks ugly for now, but it'll be fine afterward. I believe the system's on temporal. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, pull the system. silence so it doesn't sound like your typical wheelock you know eh or aes it's you know it's obviously the predecessor to the aes um that sounds different i actually really like the sound of this horn it sounds pretty cool strobe's got an interesting whine to it and of course the entertaining part of resetting the BG-10. I really need to get a BG-10L. Alright, good enough. Go ahead and take our keys. We'll get our B key. And for change, we're going to do a key activation on the uh, 5060S. So that's going to be it for uh, this mini system test video. Thanks for watching, and uh, expect a new panel pretty soon. Oh, that comes that battery trouble. 
But as I was saying, thanks for watching, and uh, new pen will be here soon.